What is going on boys and girls, it is Giulianio back here with a brand new video and it feels really weird for me to say that because I haven't actually uploaded for a, a little while just because I have not bothered to play FIFA. It is so boring, like there's no foot champions, seasons is boring and honestly um, it's that time of year where all students are going back. Um, if you don't know my girlfriend's a uni student, uh, she's going into her second year so I've spent you know, as much time as I possibly can with her, because she leaves Friday. Uh, I'm going away Friday for the weekend for my brother's stag do. Uh, my second, uh, my oldest brother's getting married in October, so we're off to uh, off to Butlins for, um, well, it's just a piss up, really. That's, that's all it is, it's just to get drunk. So, um, I'm, I'm going ballistic, getting all this ready, because I'm, I'm doing this Wednesday. I want to get a video recorded, get my shit packed up. You know, I've got to get everything, make sure my house is tidy, because my parents are on holiday. Um, I'm going to see Wicked tomorrow in London, which is really cool. Um, I've, I've wanted to see that for a while, um, for long since I started dating my girlfriend two years ago. Um, so I've got you know the most mental mental week going up at the minute, and it just you know I'm 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 going ballistic trying to get everything sorted. So I managed to set aside a little bit of time to bring a video to you guys um, because the team of the week looks pretty tasty. Um, and I actually haven't built a squad a squad around a big a big player. I've built it around uh, a player close to my heart. And that is um, Mark Uth. Uh, his name is, um, he plays for Hoffenheim. Uh, he's just got himself an inform. And if you don't understand or don't know the reason why I have such a love affair with this guy, is because um, I did a little bit of a road to glory for about, I don't know, about 10, 10 to 15 episodes. I didn't really pursue it. It wasn't that popular at the point. Um, I probably did it at the wrong time. I did it like halfway through FIFA. So I'm um, obviously, if you're 18, I'm going to do one like, off the bat, off the first week, I'm doing one. Um, but this guy was a monster. His normal card, I think, 76, was ridiculous. He was tearing it up in um, the, the obviously the higher divisions in NYTV keeps glitching out, and I really need to figure it out. Um, but I built a squad around him, and it is a really, really nice looking squad. It's a 4 3 3 number. Um, Force just got the cam in it. We go in goal with the foot birth there, Sirigu. I could have gone with Rainer. Um, but I decided to go for the special card, um, and he's only 18k. He's not bad, I've had him before. 87 diving, 84, 8 reflexes, 85 handing, 80 kicking, 85 positioning. So he is a pretty decent player. Uh, right back we go for the normal Abate, not the, uh, the special one like I did last time. 88 pace, 76 dribbling, 73 defending, and 77 physical. Just a beast card. He's so good. Left back we go for Jordi Alba. Um, his normal card, he's got himself a second in form this week, which is nearly Hoodit Gang. It's just shooting that is uh, just letting him down. 93 pace, 75 dribbling, 83 uh, sorry, 75 passing him, and 83 dribbling, 81 defending, and 75 physical. He is only 15k now. He's so cheap, which is uh, which is pretty decent, uh, especially at this point in the game. The first setup we go for, as he's here, is Bonucci transferred over to Milan. 70 pace, 87 defending, and 81 physical. He only cost me 8.8k. He's six foot three with medium high work rate, so he is that kind of setup back that you want. Uh, it, partnering up is our team of the season, Nacho. Um, he's on 70 games. I want to try and get him to 100, but it's probably not going to happen because I haven't played this game at all for like a week. And, you know, I'm recording this on, what's the day today? Is it the 13th, I think? So it's only, it's like, you know, two weeks on Friday till the new game comes out. I'm, I'm not going to make it make it to 100. But he's got 80 pace, 76 dribbling, 80 passing, 89 defending, and 88 physical. He's only 5 foot 10, but he is a monster in that midfield. Um, and, uh, sorry, in defence right, our midfield just gets better. First player, we go for the legend, that is Bastian Schweinsteiger. His man of the match that he had back at Man United. 53 pace does let him down. He's got 81 shooting, 86 passing, 80 dribbling, 80 defending, and 78 physical. He only cost me 25k. He's six foot tall with high, high work rates. You can't deny that is a fantastic card whatsoever. First centre mid on, or oh, sorry, second centre mid on the other side. We go for the special end of an era, uh, Jabby Alonso from Bayern Munich. 78 pace, 91 dribbling, 90 shooting, 94 defending, 98 passing, 88 physical. Absolutely sick card. It's weird to see him not working alongside uh, the end of an era alarm because that's normally who he's with. 130 games I've played with him. He's fantastic. Six foot tall, low medium work rates. And he is just a monster in the midfield. Uh, and our final player is Juan Mata. Um, whilst he's at a point, uh, he ain't not up upgrading any of the ones I watched anymore because he's got an 87 in form this week and he should be an 87, but he's not. So, EA, sort his shit out. Back onto what I was talking about. Juan Mata, his uh, team in the group stage was this? Um, or the man of the match European sort of thing uh, from last year. 70 pace, 88 dribbling, 80 shooting, 87 passing, 5 foot 7, uh, 3 star, 3 star, 35k. I ain't too bad for that kind of card. He's been I've used him before. He is very, very sick. Uh, right wing, we go for the footies. Leroy Sané, 95 pace, 90 dribbling, 82 shooting, and 80 
uh, passing, he's very, very good. Um, obviously, first owner, he's just so, so good. Six foot tall, left footed on the right hand side is what you want. Uh, left wing, we go for Marco Royce, uh, who's had a bit of a downgrade next year. He's on 86. I know he's been injured, but. You know, he, he's still a sick card. 90 pace, 85 shooting, 84 passing, 86 dribbling. Four star, four star. Packed him ages ago. Played 76 games with him. And he hasn't had a bad return whatsoever. And obviously the final player is the man of the episode. It is Mark Earth from Hoffenheim. Let me check. Am I right in saying he's a base card? Is a 76? I think it is. I think it's Earth even. 76, oh, I was right. He's had a pretty tasty upgrade up to 81. He's got 79 pace, 80 dribbling, 78 shooting, 75 passing, 72 physical. He's six foot one. He's got medium high, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but he is a very sick card. 12.5k on the first day that he gets released. That's mental. That is so cheap. Um, I know, you know, not many people open packs, and if they are, it's just for fun. Then that's because they want that striker Messi um, or Aguero so, or Jordi Alba, to be honest. But. I picked this guy just because he is close to my heart. I love him. He's such a good player. This team looks fantastic. I'm only going to play one game today. Like I say, I'm pushed for time. I'm trying to get everything sorted as soon as I possibly can. I'm very pushed for time, very strapped for time. So I'm going to only play myself one game in Division 1 with this team. So hopefully Marco can come up with a hat-trick like he did many a time in the Road to Glory. Let's go get that opponent and see how we do. Right, boys and girls, we've got our opponent and he has got a pretty sick looking BPR side. He's got Footy's Nominee Butland in there. He's got Transfer Walker, Footy Smallin, Foot Birthday Ogbonna, Ashbelaqueta, the Premium SBC David Luiz. He's got Player of the Month's second in Player of the Month son, Sterling, and then he's got Ibrahimovic at Cam, and then he's got Footy's Jesus and Musa up front. So that is filthy. Pacey, pacey strikers, a big man at Cam that can just nod the balls down to him. Filthy, pacey striker, uh, wingers even. Solid CDM. He's got a dirty team. Hopefully we're going to come out with a win. Let's get into it and find out. Oh, Earth already showing why he's sick. He's, oh, I thought he got the ball back then. He's He was just dribbling at players. No one was getting near him. Oh, he's through with Jesus. He's punished, man. That pace is ridiculous. 1-0 down in 11 minutes. Hey, his, I just can't handle his pace. He's got Sterling. He's got Sun. He's got... Hey Zeus, he's got Musa. Oh, it's so hard to defend against him. Brilliant finish on the outside of his foot. Oh, we've still got a while to go though. Oh, we've got Bull. Earth. Oh, Earth. Oh, that was unlucky. It was a nice one too between him and, uh, and Royce. Should have buried that. Definitely should have buried that. Our players collided. In the defence, we 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 got caught. We fucked up. Our players collided. They got caught on each other. He's paused it, thinking I'm going to quit. Of course I'm going to quit. What's the point? And he's uh, he's chipped me. Sirigu should have saved that. 100% should have saved that. And he didn't. So, we're 2-0 down. 19 minutes played. Tough times. Oh, wow, we nearly went 3-0 down. Despite the fact that we have pace in our fullbacks, we're just getting caught on the counter-attack every time. Jesus again nearly scoring. It's not good. We are we, we need to sort that defence out. What has happened there, man? Pointless cross. And we're going in. Oh, Matt is going to not beat Osborne in the air, is he? Bang it with Alonso. Weren't a bad attempt, weren't a bad attempt whatsoever, but we we need to do better than that, hundred percent. Need to do better than that. Oh, come on, that's a penalty all day long. All day long. Ball play through to Sane and out of nowhere, Ashbel Equator pointlessly slides him out, gets himself a red card. We're struggling really bad on the attack when it comes to getting through. I'm obviously gonna play this with Earth because he is the man of the episode. I'm gonna go there in the back of the net. Thank God for that. We're really struggling uh, at getting past the defence because of that diamond of David Luiz, Smalling, and uh, and Ogbonna. It's so hard to get past them, but luckily we got past them there. Got a penalty, converted it. We're only two one down, and we're at half time, and we are yeah we're losing. It's it's a really hard defence to break down, but Ashbelaqueta booking or, or, or sending off even is definitely definitely going to going to help us out. When it comes to attacking, but you know we haven't played too badly. We've had four shots, two on target. We've had decent possession, decent well not decent passing, pretty average passing to be honest. Um, 
but we just need to persevere, get through. I need to stop pushing the ball to earth so much because that's what I'm doing. I'm keep trying to play the way I don't play and it's pushed to earth. Try and get in the goals when I just want to play with the team and obviously get in the win like that. Let's get into the second half, come up with a win. If I don't, I will play a second game. I might still play a second game anyway, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh, Earth's in the box. Great shot. Good save by Butland. Roy stinks it back in. And whoever that was has sent it clear. Our defence had just disappeared. He's gone and punished us again with the fucking annoying, stupid pace of his strikers. I don't know what happened to our defence. It completely shifted. We, we were playing such a high line. We got caught. He chipped us. Keeper went in sliding. And obviously the ball's going in the back of the net all day long. Because everyone can use that armor Musa, but me. I'm 3 1 down. What is our defense doing now? We fucking got caught again. Musa's away. He's. Oh my god, Sirigu. Great save. Our, our controller just completely switched off controlling our center back and got caught. But we're, we're building up a counter attack. Earth's dribbled in, dribbled past again, and he's punished. Back to one goal deficit. Great counter attack. I mean, come on, going from that one, that save of Sirigu, all the way up the pitch. Earth dribbles past Smalling, past Walker, penalty spot, bottom corner, three two. We're back on, back on. Uh, well, we're back in the game, I should say. Oh, Royce, great dribbling. Oh, it's a great block by old Bonner. We don't want to take this with a bar table. We'll take it with Royce just because he's got some good stats on him. Whips it in. Matter of all people is again there. Oh, got it with Alonso though. Oh, that was unlucky on his weak foot. Oh, Earth. Ah, oh, that was a great block by Walker. The missing fullback had really punished him there because that was just a lovely pass out by uh, Alonso over to, to Sané and he was free and clear. Whip the corner in. And it's front post and it's mountains of nothing, but we could have a chance to get a, something else in. Who's that? Schweinsteiger. Oh my God, what a goal. Bastian Schweinsteiger with a fantastic overhead kick. Chests it, volleys it, bottom corner. What a goal and we're thrill. What a comeback as well. Oh well, we're gonna go. Yeah, we we. I say great comeback, and we're back to four. We're back to losing. Of course, Ahmed Musa. I don't know what my defense is doing. They just completely missed it. You look at that. You look at my defense on paper. Abate, Benucci, Fernandez, and uh, and uh, Alva. You'd expect them to be rock solid as anything, but no, they've conceded four goals. Oh, Alonso's through. How? How has he missed? It was harder to miss than it was to score. Oh my god. Oh, we've been taken out on the edge of the box here. Pointless, another pointless tackle by Og Bonner. Because there wasn't much I could have done in that position. But he's also screwed us over a little bit because, well, it's quite hard to, to score from this position, as documented there. <laughs> Oh, Bastian, that was unlucky. Pop shot. 100% pop shot. Got a corner out of it. We'll ping it in with Royce. Oh, keeper punches. Why is Benucci on the edge of the box? Ah, Alonso shot straight over the bar. Oh, Earth is through. 90th minute. Oh, he's hit the post. And Sané's been saved. Oh, my God. How are, how are we not winning this game? Corner with Mata. I won't use uh, Sané this time. Pings that in. Who is there? No one. Alonso. Header. Schweinsteiger. Oh, my God. It's so messy. How have we not won? How have we not won? We bombarded his goal with... Shots and just so many attacks. Earth comes out with two goals. Schweinsteiger gets, an assist, uh, gets a goal and then the assist go to Mata and Sané. How? The reason we didn't... Look at that. He's had five shots and he scored four of them. We had 16 shots. 
The reason he won that was because my defence just wasn't playing very well. And that's pissed me off. So, uh, we've held our, we're out of place in Division 2. We're going to start our freshies. I'm going to get another opponent. I can't deal with that. Let's go get another opponent. Right, opponent number two brings us... A 4 3 2 one BPO has got uh, Schmeichel, Valencia, Company, Bailly, Alonso, Ali, Pereira, Torre, Inform, Shakiri, Hazard, and he's got striker Alexis Sanchez. Pretty sick team. Very, very sick team. I, I will admit that. Um, that front three is dangerous for Shakiri, Hazard, Hazard, and uh, Alexis. Hopefully, we won't dominate this guy and not have anything out of it. Let's get into it and uh, see what happens. Oh, Matter and Earth, nice bit of passing and a great save by Kasper Schmeichel. That has been the only thing that's happened in this game so far. It's been that boring. Oh, lovely play. Oh, come on. It was straight at him. I love Alonso, but to be honest, his finishing in the box isn't all that. Sane Matter. Oh, that was another fantastic save by Schmeichel. Out for a corner, ping it in with Marco. Who's that? Xabi Alonso? Nope. Not shooting with Bonucci or Nacho. And we've lost it. Why Bonucci is on the on the edge of the box, I don't know. Oh wow, Earth out jumped by. Got it to Sane, who got it to Mata. His first shot is the first shot is blocked and saved. But Marco Royce with the follow-up puts the ball away with his left foot. I'm still shocked that Earth out jumped by you, to be honest. But that was cast as an own goal. Don't see how because it was on target. But all right. Whatever FIFA, whatever you say. Oh, Marcus Alonso, that was unlucky. That's been like the first threatening thing he's done in this game. And luckily it went over the bar. Right, half time. 1 0 up because of a stupid end goal that was actually on target in our goal, but alright. We've dominated his shots. We've had six shots, four on target. He's had beastly possession. We've only had 42. Um, passing pretty even. Better passing in this game than the last. We had 80, 77 or like that. We've got 82 in this game, so that's nice. Just want to keep the lead. Maybe add on to it. And, uh, well, just, like I said, just keep the lead. Oh, Matt has just done over the defender. Oh, my. I don't know why I chipped it with Earth. But Matt has got the ball. Controlled it. Dribbled it. Stopped. And the defender just got absolutely mugged off. Lovely bit of control. Defender gets mugged off. And Matt puts it in the back of the net. 2-0. Just after half time. Lovely. That's what you want. A nice, comfortable lead. Oh, Hazard is through. Big touch. I don't know what our keeper's done there. I've realised that Sirica is not very good, actually. I'm going to have to be honest. But I don't know what our keeper did there. The ball basically went through him. And uh, Matt, oh, not Matt, sorry, Hazard put it into an empty net. We're still winning, but only by one this No, only by one. Only by one. Oh, Shakiri on his weak foot. Straight at the keeper. Nicely defended. No. Oh, my God. Get the ball away. Oh, my God. That was... Uh, that was, uh, that was, uh, I don't know what that was. Squeaky bum time, that's what I'm trying to think of. Oh, Royce's first shot failed. Second shot failed. Oh, that was scrappy. Oh, he's gone and equalised in the 90th. Oh, that's disappointing. That is absolutely pissed me off. And how? How has Schmeichel saved that? Come on. Mata pings this corner in to no one. And I don't think he's going to have any time to attack. Full time. A loss which we didn't deserve. A draw which we didn't deserve. We deserve both of those games to be won. Mata gets the well one goal. An own goal went to Schmeichel when it should have done. Earth got an assist. That game felt like he changed player after after the second goal because he kicked off, but he take, he took time to kick off. It felt like he'd done something. 
and I feel like he changed player, but that's the way FIFA is, unfortunately. And uh, a loss and a draw. Not brilliant, to be honest. Right, listen, so the team wasn't bad. Sirigu was awful. He, he was dreadful. I wouldn't use him. Defence, again, not very good, to be honest. They were so high. I don't know. I don't understand, you know, why. Abate and um, Alba, 88 pace and 93 pace, were constantly getting caught. Pissed me off. Two centre-backs weren't amazing. They were all right. They made tackles when they needed to, but meh. Alonso was not very good with that alarm, to be honest. I don't know why. Maybe it's one of those things. Mata was insane. He played brilliantly. He got one goal, one assist in two games. Um, him and Uth had a lovely link-up. Schweinsteiger got that one goal and that beautiful overhead kick uh, from the chest in the box. Sané and Royce played really well in the wings, um, especially after Ashford Dakota got sent off in the first game. Sané really, really shone there. Uh, he ended up with just one assist in the uh, the games, and I think Royce was just had nothing except for that disallowed goal, which was stupid. Uth came out with two goals, one assist. He played really, really well um, for an 81 rated card that hasn't got the best of stats. He played brilliantly. Very much would recommend using this guy if you're using a cheap Bundesliga team to kind of to end end off FIFA. He was insane. But that has been the video, boys. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, links down to Twitter and Instagram in the description below. Go down there, drop me a follow, drop a like, and drop a comment if you've played the FIFA 18 demo and what you think of it. Um, I've played it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, very different to FIFA 17. Uh, but I'm pretty excited. To, pretty very very excited for the new game coming out. Drop us up if you're new around here. Until next time, guys. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing weekend. And I shall see you all later. Bye.